Hey guys, uh, I just want to make a quick video. Sorry for the delay. It looked like uh, the first five seconds I couldn't see anything, so it was just black. So uh, that's why I wasn't talking, if you saw that. Um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, make a quick video, kind of address the, uh, it's, I guess it's kind of old news now, but it's been, I guess, a week and a half or whatever. Uh, uh, just to address the Will Smith thing, since it seems like everybody's doing it. On the internet so I thought I would um, um, yeah I just think uh, what I think about it is um, I think it was <clears throat> for Will Smith Will Smith charging Chris Rock was wrong for you know getting offended by a joke I think that was totally <clears throat> wrong um, you know I, I guess I get I, I see his point where um, Chris Rock insulting his wife but it's a joke um, People tell jokes, and you know it's what Chris Rock's job was to tell jokes and make fun of the you know the uh, the Hollywood elites that were there, Hollywood um, stars or whatever. Yeah, stars. Um, so that was his job. So I think Will Smith could have addressed it better. Um, um, yeah. So or he could have he could have handled it better. But you know, it's we all get pissed off and all that so you know uh <clears throat> sometimes we don't always handle stuff the way we're supposed to but i think he could have handled it better and i'm a big will smith fan i love you know some of his movies and some of it, you know his youtube channels um i'm not you know i still like them i just think it was stupid for him to do that um so you know richard rich ricky Gervais has a good quote that i like it said um just because you get offended doesn't mean you're right totally agree with that you know people get it you know people get offended all the time you know and <clears throat> no matter what you what kind of joke you tell somebody's getting offended so if you don't want to offend anybody don't tell any joke because you're always going to offend somebody so you just got to do <clears throat> you just got to do what you think is funny you know and you know then go from there so but uh yeah I, I think Will Smith was totally all wrong about that um that joke or that uh charging charging him like that uh i think it's funny too that people are kind of talking about how he's a simp because he was listening to his wife i don't i mean maybe he's a simp i don't know but i don't totally agree with that um you know i mean people on the internet that are saying that will smith probably gets a lot more women or could get a lot more women than, than they do um I think it's stupid, you know. Most guys are, you know, are there. There's a lot of guys out there that are uh, controlled by their wives. You know, it's sad, uh, but you know, it's just how it is. You know, you, you, most guys are scared of their wives. You know, so um, most guys are simps out there. That's just the facts. You know, not most, but a lot. You know, a lot of guys are. Scared of what their wife thinks, they won't do nothing because they're scared their wife might feel a certain way, or they won't. Wife won't want to have sex with them, so they'll try to do it. They'll try to walk on eggshells. So, you know, so, so you know, those a lot of those guys that are saying he's a simp, they're just, they're probably a lot worse. So, I don't think. I mean, I think. I mean, I don't know their relationship. It seems kind of weird to me. Some you know, some things have been tabloid of any or in the news of any of that's true, but, but uh, you know, I. I think Will Smith could get, you know, he could get women. So a lot more than most guys that are saying that about him. So, um, you know, and I was going to kind of say about, you know, I had a scary deal at a comedy club one time. It was a long time ago. I was pretty new. It was out at an outdoor event and uh, there's a lot of drunk people and um, everybody was getting heckled real bad. Everybody was getting, like I I was on stage getting stuff thrown at me and, and, and couldn't even, couldn't even get a word in edgewise trying to tell jokes and, um, uh, they were just heckling me, which I learned now. I know that's, um, a dumb way to do it. You know, if you're getting heckled real bad, the best way is to go back at them. The worst thing you do is keep on telling your jokes. They're just going to get you more, you know? So I was getting heckled pretty bad and, um, and I mean, I was cussing back at him, you know, I was pissed because I didn't, you know, I didn't, I wouldn't, you know, I was still new. And I used a couple of words I probably shouldn't have, you know, to a certain a couple of people. 
So I get off stage and um, I get uh, this guy comes in. This guy comes and uh, like walks towards me. I'm like, oh crap, this guy doesn't want to fight me. And um, I was scared. You know, he saw me in the corner of my eye and I was coming. I was like, oh crap, you know, he doesn't want to fight me. And I was pretty scared because there wasn't no security with the outdoor event, you know. So, I mean, he could have, he couldn't, you know, we could have been a fight there, you know. And, um, and there was a lot more of them than me, so it would have been, you know, there was, he had friends there, so. And, uh, but, uh, so it had a good ending and no, no, you know, all he did, he's come up to me and he said, um, um, he said, uh, Hey man, no hard feelings. We're just effing with everybody. And I, and I just laughed. I was like, cool. So we kind of talked and it was, it was over and he was cool. So, but it's one of those things that can get scary. You know, you never know what's going to happen. And, um, um, yeah, that's probably my, my scariest time at a, at a comedy club. I haven't had that many bad ones. I've had, I've only had a heckle, I've only been heckled like that a couple of times. Most of the time when they, you bomb or I, when I bomb, it's just, people are quiet. They don't, they just don't say anything. So, but, uh, but yeah. So that stuff can get scary, you know? So, um, but yeah, my, my, uh, my, uh, my view is that he shouldn't have done that, but it's over and hopefully he didn't lose too much. You know, it's kind of sad. You know, I like the guy and, uh, um, uh, he's all about, you know, I, I was watching a video the other night where he was, he did a bungee, like for his 50, 50, 50 year old, he turned, when he turned 50, he did a, he did a bungee, he jumped, he bungee jumped and, uh, he's all about face and fear, which I, I like, you know, he's like, he talks about that, you know, fear is where you need to go into and stuff. So I like the guy and I kind of want to read his book. I just, you know, hope he recovers from this and, uh, um, you know, it, it's over, hopefully. He didn't get too much. I know he's gotten a little bit where Netflix has canceled him, I think, and I don't know what else. I think there's a couple of things, but but yeah, I hope it hope it all turns out that it turns out good. On a brighter note, um we got to go to uh Fiesta this weekend. Or last weekend, it was really fun. We did like a taste in New Orleans, it was really cool. And they had bands there like, you know, like trombones and trumpets, all cool, you know, all these cool like instruments and uh, they're playing and Ryan liked it at first, but then he didn't like loud noise at the end. He kind of was ready to go. So, uh, but he's starting to enjoy that stuff and uh, he had fun and I got to babysit him. I guess it's not babysit him since he's my son, but my wife went to a uh, get together. So it was just me and him last night and I got to uh, uh, hang out with him all night and put him to bed, which was cool. And, and uh, yeah, uh, it was a, uh, it was a fun time. He did poop on the couch, uh, so I had to clean that up. But hey, no harm, no foul. I mean, you're not doing it right if you don't if you're sending if you don't have to clean up some poop. So that's part of the game. Um, yeah, uh, I don't really have any much much more to talk about. Just that's that was about it. Just want to make a quick video. Hope everybody has a good night. Getting close to the weekend. It's almost it'll be here before you know it. Um, yeah, have a have a good night and I'll make another one soon. Talk to you later. Bye.